in our last lecture, we had discussed the possibility, we discussed how stars get named. And so what we want to do now is we want to talk about how other things get named because there's other things that are on star charts and maps of the sky other than just stars. Charles Messier, astronomer in the 18th uh, century, uh, was a comet hunter. And so he was searching for comets. Most comets look like little small fuzzy things in the sky. They don't really look like when you think of a comet as a big ball with a big huge tail. Most comets just look like barely visible little smudges. So uh, he was noticing though that some smudges did not move around the sky like a comet should. They just stayed in one spot. And he realized that these were fixed objects in the sky. They were not stars, but they were not comets. So he made a list of things that were not comets. And he published a catalog of them. Uh, his catalog uh, of things not comets we call the Messier catalog. And so we label things the Messier catalog by which one they are. So Messier 1 is the first thing in Messier catalog. Then Messier 2, Messier 3, you know, uh, Messier 9, Messier 10, and so forth, you know. Uh, so Messier 10, Messier 11, and, and whatnot. Uh, uh, some of these things are famous objects. Messier uh, number 13 is a famous globular cluster. Uh, uh, I guess that's Messier 13 right there. Uh, M13, we call it M, you know, because the, the just hard to say Messier. So M13, M57 is a cloud of gas given off when a star like the sun died. And then we have M31, uh, that's the Andromeda galaxy. M51 is actually a galaxy that's eating its companion galaxy right there. Uh, we have M42, that's the Orion Nebula, M45, uh, that's the Pleiades. Uh, so there's a variety of different kinds of objects that are out here. Uh, M1 up here, the very first object uh, up here is actually uh, 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 a, a, a cloud of gas given off when a star exploded. And so here we have the, the uh, various uh, Messier objects. Well, the thing is, once he, you know, got, he had got to 109 objects and then he died, his companion, Pierre Mishing, added one more object, Messier 110, to the end there to round out his catalog because Messier had seen it, just hadn't got around to publishing it before he died. Uh, well, as it turns out, uh, after he died, he quit observing. Uh, well, yeah, okay. So, um, better later astronomers found... So William Herschel comes along and he makes what he calls the general catalog of non-stellar objects. And the general catalog is like over a thousand objects in there uh, that are objects that he sees that are not stars. That are like clumps of stars, we call star clusters, or clouds of gas, what we call nebulae, all, uh, other clouds that, that we now realize are galaxies, though he didn't know what a galaxy was at the time. Uh, but then he died and quit adding things to his, his catalog. Uh, by the end of the 19th century, telescopes had gotten so good that you could see way more than the general catalog. So a uh, fellow named Dreyer down here, uh, Johann Dreyer establishes what we now call the new general catalog or NGC. And the NGC catalog has close to 10,000 objects listed in it. Shortly after the catalog was published, uh, new telescopes were able to show another 10,000 objects. Those were put into the index catalogs, which are like an addendum to the NGC. So you might have on your star chart, you'll sometimes see something labeled M something or other, or GC something for general catalog something or other, or NGC for new general catalog, or IC for index catalog. Well, not long after that, they realized that that naming these things in this fashion was running out. Okay, you know, all these objects out here, you know, have multiple names, just like stars do. Uh, the Andromeda Galaxy is also known as Messier number 31 or M31. It's also known as the New General Catalog or NGC 224. And uh, it's also got several other names, catalog designations, you know, and, and, and so forth. 